Support for Ukraine continues in Chicago today as hundreds gathered in Ukrainian village to rally. WGN's Megan Dwyer joins us with that story. Megan. Simon, Jackie, more than a thousand people came out this afternoon. Some of those Ukrainians obviously very worried about their families back home. Others with no ties at all to the country still willing to speak out against Russia and tyranny. Slava Ukraini! State and local leaders joined forces at Chicago's Catholic Ukrainian Church this afternoon. We stand together today in solidarity with Chicago's Ukrainian community. Hundreds of people with anti-Putin signs gathered. Chicago's mayor called the Russian president a, quote, ruthless killer, someone who doesn't even care about his own people. Putin has gone forward with his acts of aggressions against the country of Ukraine simply because the people of Ukraine aspire to be free. She urged immigration authorities to give Ukrainians temporary protective status within the United States and for our border to be open so Ukrainians can seek freedom in America. It's Ukraine today, but it will be another democratic, freedom-loving country tomorrow. We must stop him in his tracks. There were calls for humanitarian aid. Save Ukraine! Save Ukraine! Governor Pritzker called the recent violence a bloodthirsty invasion, holding a moment of silence for the more than 100 people killed so far. To the heroes of Ukraine, Illinois is with you. People ask me, what can we do? Thoughts and prayers are good. Blocking the skies is better. Representative Danny Davis, who represents the Ukrainian village, said he would stand firmly against tyranny, realizing freedom is hardly free. It's Ukraine today, but it will be the United States tomorrow. Here in Illinois, the Ukrainian Congress Committee of America is now asking people to stop doing business with Russia, stop buying Russian products, and stop buying Russian gas. Taman, Jackie. Megan, thank you.